Hey friends, Sean here with Manly Made Minute and welcome back. Today we're going to do the reverse of what we did on my last video and I'm going to see how well I can get distress inks, distress oxides, distress sprays to work with Mod Podge. All right, so we're going to do the reverse and I've already Mod Podged stuff versus I inked stuff and then Mod Podged on my last video. So stick around, let's see if this works. Welcome back. Here's what I have done to prep for today's video. So if you saw my last video, which to those of you that have watched it, that has gone viral a little bit, my first video that has gotten like eight, 9,000, I think we're almost up to 9,000 views today. Um, thank you so much. I am completely shocked um, that that one just took off. Um, I'm just sitting here having fun and trying new stuff and then th that one kind of took off. So I got thinking about that video and how I pre-inked stuff in the video. Then I applied that craft paper onto my cardstock and Mod Podged it um, on, and then how it smeared on one, it didn't smear on the other. But then I got thinking, what if I Mod Podged first, will this ink still work on top of these cards with Mod Podge? The reason why I'm using Mod Podge, and let me just grab um, I'm using the um, matte finish, so this is the Mod Podge that I'm using. I'm using what I have. So I don't have a lot of mixed media stuff. I want to dabble more into mixed media, but I'm ha using what I have at the moment so I can invest in more stuff. Some of you have had some amazing, amazing comments. I've already put some of those products on my wish list or in my cart to, to buy here in the future. Um, but I'm going with Mod Podge because that's what I used on my last video. I have Mod Podge some pre-cards. Now I want to see if the ink will work on top of this versus the reverse. Okay, so I want to show you what I pre-made, kind of show you the concept, and then I've got like four or five techniques I want to try um, really quick just to see if this sticks onto Mod Podge and how this works. So let's go look and see what I have pre-done here. Um, these are my cards that I pre-done. Couple things I wanted to do. First off, hello little note cards. Um, I don't think we do enough note cards as card makers um, because I feel like these can be used for gift tags. Um, you can buy three by three or four by four little envelopes. These are three by three, so I think the three and a half by three and a half envelopes I have or something um, to go. These are just perfect to give to people, to give to employees and sit on their desk with a little like you're doing an awesome job. I don't think we do enough of these. So I wanted to do some note cards just for the pure fact of I don't have to do a full card to try these techniques I want to try and see if this actually works. Um, and then I wanted to make a little set of these. So I have pre-done some of the legwork here, all right? So here's what I've done. You all know me if you're watching any of my videos. I love my scraps. This is my scrap bucket for all my designer series paper. There's a ton in here, you guys. Like if you go down to the bottom, there's Christmas stuff in here. There's strips way here, down here at the bottom. Um, I wanted to do some bright, fun stuff this time. So what I've done, I just tore this up. Um, literally tore this up, okay? So you can see on this one, I cut some of these into strips and just did strips. Some of them were already embossed, which run your scraps through an embosser and throw these on here and get some texture. Super cool, because this one I think is gonna be my favorite, just this, the texture on here, right? The rest of these I just tore into pieces. This is something I cut out of a, out of a um, die cut that had these bubbles, I kept it. It just, it actually looks like the, the tear edges of a paper. Um, I just kept it and glued it on, okay? I tore pieces and glued it on. I tore pieces and glued it on. The rest of these I just tore up, glued, well, I mod podged them on. I laid the mod podge like my last video, then I laid my strips down and I mod podged those down. So I have this, they're kind of stiff, I have a shiny finish on here, you can see that's the mod podge sitting on top. I want to see if things stick to this and what my inks will do to react to this. Again, I know there's mediums out there that I could use. I'm using what I have, so I'm just like, let's just see if this works, okay? These two, I took Mod Podge. I sprayed some of the, um, I used on this one, I used the Distress Spray Stain Seedless Preserve. 
sprayed it in my Mod Podge, mixed it up like cake batter, smeared it on because I wanted to see how much stain would, would dilute out or what that looks like. So you can kind of see, I did one pretty heavy, I did one kind of light, so I got some, some purplish kind of tones in my Mod Podge medium that I put on. All right, I want to do a couple of different techniques. So we're going to spray, we're going to, we're going to smush, we're going to stencil, we're going to put some uh, lunar paste on this. Um, and then I'm going to smush with my, um, my sprays just to see if this all works. And then I want to see what happens when I re-wet this Mod Podge um, to see how it reacts, if it gets sticky again, if, it just, if it's so shiny and clear it just runs off, what's going to happen here, all right? I'm going to be really honest. I have just prepped this. I haven't even tried this off camera, which I probably should have, but you're going to see this real time. All right, let's get started. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I realized digging this stuff out today, I forgot I had this little tin in here. So I forgot I had bought samples of my Distress inks in the cubes versus the big ones I got out on my last video. If you haven't seen that video, go back. It's Ink Smotion and Old Books with Tim Holtz. Um, super cool kind of craft and recycling stuff in there. Um, so again, I thank you all so much who have watched it. I am just shocked, blown away, and so appreciative because I'm just loving this. So anyway, let's get started. Uh, I think I'm going to want to try this combo here first, just because I want to do that purple. And I'm going to first start by just ink smushing. Okay, I just want to see if I can smush this on and what this does to the surface. So I've got a blue and a green and a purple. So we've got wilted violet, peacock feathers, and mowed lawn. And I think I'm going to grab one of my lighter ones to go with this one. <coughs> Pardon me. All right. Oh, and then we're going to stamp too. I want to stamp on top of these. Um, I do have one sample of the stamping that uh, I've got two samples of the stamping. These are the ones that I've done before. I did the same exact thing. All I've done is stamp. I have to let that dry because that it sits on the surface and, and it'll smear. So I've just stamped these to see if it would work. Okay. This one here had some color on it. It smeared it. So anyway, there you go. Let's, let's give this a good old um, 4th of July weekend try, all right? So we're gonna smush first and see what we can get. I have appreciated every single comment on that last video and the suggestions. Again, I'm open to suggestions. If you've got a medium that you absolutely love and is your favorite, <coughs> oh, excuse me, I need, a, I need a sip of coffee here. Got dry all of a sudden. Um, please comment. Give me suggestions. Um, somebody had put in there uh, just, 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 just so I think it was called. Um, I've written it down. It is on my list to try. Um, and I'm looking for suggestions on mediums on what, like stuff to put on these. You know, what's your favorite stuff to put versus torn paper and scraps? Like all this, all this stuff, right? Okay. I have smushed. I've sprayed. Now we're just gonna smush. I have taped these down so that they weren't flying open on me and I didn't get stuff on the inside, so they're just taped down with um, with some washi tape on the inside. All right, let's just give this a good try. Now I can tell already that this is sitting on the surface a little bit more versus my craft paper, which I knew was porous, it sucked in a little bit quicker, right? Um, and I can see this is not, it, it's sealed. The, the paper's sealed with that Mod Podge, so it's not gonna suck in. So um, I could dab this with paper towel. I'm not going to, I wanna keep it as is. So let's just give this a little dry. And see. What I wanted to try with a spray too, which we're gonna do, I'm gonna spray direct. On, on one, then I'm going to spray it down on my, my media mat and give it some water and get it to kind of to run off the surface um, to see what that does. If it gets really runny off that surface. So this stays a little bit, if, if I'm not smushing this really good, now I, I smushed and I wanted to keep these dots. So it's a little bit more, um, what would I say, defined. And it, let me just feel this. So it is. A, it did get a little tacky because I'm reheating it. Um, that bluish kind of tacky. Not a, not a ton. Not a ton. Okay, so we're gonna. And I can see it raising my paper a little bit because it's wet. It's wet, reactivating that mod. So um, let's just give this a little more green and this. Okay. 
I am seeing, I'm losing, let me dab some of this, see what that does now. I'm losing that paper behind a little bit, but that's okay. All right, so this is one with just the smushing with the ink. Now what I want to do, I'll wipe this up, um, but before I do that, I should probably have a scratched piece of paper um, because that is not wasteful. <laughs> Again, I don't waste anything, paper scraps included, um, and I know that that is precious property right there. So I'm going to take, and I'm just going to smush this whole thing. This was an extra card I had made. We're going to smush this whole little puppy on here and not waste it because I have a feeling I could use this for a die cut or sentiment. Yeah. This is what I like about this stuff. This stuff is, it's just, it's, you can't waste it, right? Throw it on a piece of paper. I've always, you know, like Tim, I've seen him do it a ton of times. He's like, throw that on something and keep it for later. You know, I showed that in my last video, my little bucket behind me with all my little stuff. Okay, now what I want to do, so this is my, my one just ink smushed. Now I'm just going to take some spray. And I'm just going to grab here, um, I like these brighter stuff for some of these. We're going to grab um, this little darker one. So I'm going to use some orange and we're going to use some pink. So orange, pink, and purple I think go well together. What I'm going to do, I'm going to smush, spray my card, and, and move my card around like this to get it to smear off and see what happens. Okay, so where's my water bottle so I have that ready. Just plain water in here. Okay, now I'm going to spray and see. Yeah, it's still it's still got a good surface on it. Like it's not. I didn't know if that mod would like get it tacky and just stick in one place. So I'm still getting I'm still getting run or run off. I'm getting run off. Um, all right, let's get this a little dry because I'll layer another color on here. Again, before I do that. Now, it doesn't feel as tacky, so I don't know if it's not wetting it as much. Now, I want to just mention, I'm using Mod because I have it. I know I talked about this at the beginning. Um, and I know mixed media is like anything and everything kind of concept. You know, you, you kind of do what you work with what you have and stuff. Um, and, that's, and that's why I'm using it. Um, I know there's probably stuff that makes, you know, different, different textures and things. So I just wanted to try this and see because I had it. I was Mod Podging some um, tissue paper. I know I said this wrong last I think I called it Modge Podge last time. Um, out of complete habit. I know what the stuff is. It was just it was just completely habit um, to do so. Um, scratch piece. I'm gonna grab a, I'm just grabbing this because I don't want to waste this either. So we're just gonna throw some of this up on here. Wet that a little. Okay, keep that for later. Wipe that down. I just want to throw some blue on here. And I'm going to wet it. Reactivate some of that a little bit. Very reactive on, on that surface of, of that mod. Like very reactive. I want some of that to run down and off. Like so. So that's, I shouldn't have re-wet that too much. I can't think I lost my stuff behind there. I'm gonna do this one more time and then I'm not gonna um, re-wet. I'm just gonna give it a little orange on the top. Um, these are Distress Brays right per, per, per Simon and Salty Ocean. <clears throat> okay, it's a little damp. I just wanted to leave that a little damp when I get my orange in here a little. Like so. Okay, ink smushing with the sprays. Yes, it works. Yes, I think I got to just practice a little bit on the smush, run, dry, so I don't lose my paper behind there as much too. Um, concept still works. 
It didn't seem to get as tacky as it did on my first one when I ink smushed. Not sure why. It should because I'm still re-wetting re re it. So that's that one. Now, I just want to spray it and see how, if this surface gets too slippery when I just spray it, if it runs like this or if it st sticks like a spray and, and splatter. Splatter, basically, right? Okay. Waste not, want not. Even though I know this isn't um, watercolor cardstock, but that one looks like a good birthday card to me. Bright colors. Okay. Smushing, spraying, water, runoff. All right, or whatever, whatever it's called. Okay, now I'm gonna grab my splatter box. And let's just throw a little bit of, um, I want a little bit of green. I want a little bit of, um, let's just go a little bit of lavender. And we're just gonna go some scorched Timber on there. Actually, I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna actually switch. I'm gonna do scorched timber. I have one because of the pack, sample pack I bought at the craft store I went to. Had one bottle of Distress Oxide um, Scorched Timber. Have I even opened it? Yeah. I don't think I've ever tried this one. I know you gotta shake it because it was all settled. So I'm gonna throw my regular spray stain away um, to the side here. I'm not gonna wet this. I just wanna see what that splatter does on this mod. Okay. I'll throw my Scorched Timber over the top so I can get that chalky, chalky on the top. Um, so, let's just give this a little uh, picked raspberry. I think I like the splatter good. Um, it's not, it's a light splatter, so it's not, there's no runoff on that. Um, I'm gonna dry in between. Then I'm gonna go in there with shaded lilac spray. Let me get a little closer on this one just to see. I want a little heavier spray and it's kind of staying in place. I didn't know if this surface would get slippery, so that's kind of staying in place for me. Kind of digging the sprayed one. I'm actually I'm digging all these. Um, these would be a great little card, little pack of four, pack of five to give to somebody for little cards for, to give away for themselves, you know, to friends and family, to coworkers, whatever, or to keep for yourself and have a card when you need it, stamp what you want on it when you need it, or pre-stamp it. We're going to pre-stamp because we just want to see the stamping over top of all this stuff. Okay, now I'm going to give this, I'm going to give this a little picked raspberry again. And now I'm going to go with my uh, scorched timber oxide like so I'm gonna leave it as is dry that up I think I like the spray a little bit better because I like to see that texture of the paper behind there um, but I like this one because of the the way I cut the die cut and then the texture that it leaves on the paper the ridges and things like I wonder if I can go back through, let's let's take my Scorch Timber on that one just to see if I can accent, if I can swipe um, and accent those a little. Okay, so here's my sprayed one. Okay, it's kind of stuck, like it didn't run on that surface. Let me go back to this one really quick just to see what that, if I can get that to grab on that. Oh, kind of. Let's just give it a little smear right around. A little bit. Oh, it. Oh, I see. So look at that. It got it smeary from that mod. So I wonder if I take and brush that off. It stains it like a shoe stain. I guess that's the best way I can explain that. The way it just did that. Took it off, but it grabbed in those corners. I can see it grab in these little corners of the cut, but it smears on here when you drag it. It just smears. Um, but it almost, if you rub it, it antiques and catches and all the frays and stuff. So, option there, I guess. Um, okay. Now, I want to do, um, I want to stencil over this. And we're going to stencil over these two. Um, 
But if I um, stencil, I have a feeling it's going to smear like, like it just did. But let's give it a try. I've got some generic stencils I've had since like five years ago when I bought some generic stuff um, to to do this with. So I'm going to grab this one and I want this little square one because it's got the different textures on it. And I like this one. It's very Tim Holtzy. This is not Tim Holtz. Um, I do need to get some of those, some of his stuff. But okay, we're going to try one of these. And I just want to go, um, I think I'm going to add the purple. Where'd my little purple go? My little wilted violet on there. Um, so I'm just going to grab a blending brush. I'm going to just lay this across and see how this blends. I have a feeling this is going to smear. Okay. And now I'm just going to go light. So I don't get heavy on there. And I'm not kind of filling the whole thing in. I'm going to touch this just to see if this smears. It'll smear, it'll smear off a little bit. So it's almost like I, because of that surface I have to dry that. And then I'm going to go back. I'm going to add some more. I'm going to layer this up just a little bit. So that I want to add, um, I'm going to bring in my peacock feathers just a little. Uh, let me grab a brush here for that. All right, so my peacock feathers. I'm just going to go kind of random here. A little bit there. I'm gonna go some dots over the top of this stuff. It works, but I, you can't keep working it because it'll smear. So it does work. And I think if you were to keep layering and keep layering with the stencil, you're probably going to get it too blendy and get, get mud because of, of the smear on it. If that's making any sense whatsoever. I want to take a little olive. I'm going to throw some, I want to throw a big green over the top of that. So I'm actually going to take, um, I think we're just going to go squares and we're going to throw a green over the top of that. I'm going to use crushed olive oxide. Okay, and I'm just going to go kind of randomly here. Yeah, sticking. Yeah, I can see where it, see, I kept going over that. We're got a little smearing. And I'm going to, okay, so now if I look at this super close, because I'm heating it, I'm probably too close. It's bubbling my mod. So and I'm gonna see if you can see this on this this corner of squares here. I'm just gonna let that one dry. Let's see if I can get this close to the camera. I don't know if you can see. You can kind of see that the bubbling up on the these little squares up here from on the mod, and it's down here too. You can see the bubbling and the the, the distorting. So I guess you got to be careful with the heat. That heat's gonna melt that mod um, over and over. So I'm gonna leave that as is. All right. All right, so I've done ink smushing. I've done um, spray smushing. I've done spray. I've done stenciling. And now I want to do one more. And I'm going to go, um, I'm going to switch colors because I was going to do purple, but we're not going to do purple because of the colors on there. We're going to keep a pinky theme. I'm going to throw this right over here in my splatter box. I'm going to give this some pink spray. Okay, and then I'm going to add a little um, pink and I'm going to add a little salty ocean over the top of that. Leave it and dry that and then I'm going to try to do paste. I'm going to try lunar paste on this. Okay, lunar paste because it is what I have. I just purchased that and it's what I, excuse me, it's what I have at the moment for stock. All right. And I think what I'm going to do is I want to reuse this one, I think. I liked that. Um, 
that might be too small of stuff on there, so let's just... Dry that up. I'm going to wash my little squares off. I'm going to use the squares instead. Okay. Now, I'm going to do, um, let's just do dots. We're just going to do some dots. Okay, I'm using Lunar Paste. This is Prom Queen. I have the little toolkit, so I've got the spatula and I've got the scraper. I'm going to take some of this Prom Queen up. And I'm just going to go more kind of... I might stamp something on here, so I'm going to kind of go off to the corner and smear this down. I can already see it's slick. It's a little slippery on that surface, trying to get it to stick in there. Just like so. That's all I want to do. Now I'm going to lightly pick this up. And there is my dots. Um, let me scrape. Okay. And throw this to the side. So I could feel it get a little slick trying to get it to stick, but it sticks. Um, I think I'm just going to leave that because I might stamp something right over here. I might try to do something right there. Um, like a little thank you or, or something, right? I could try this. Let's try this. Let's let that dry. I might try, um, I might try this, um, let's just try thanks over there. I'm going to let that dry and I might try to, to ink that in there and see how that sticks. Okay, where's the stamp? Because we're going to try a stamp now. Um, all right, let me get out my little pre-done Misty. I have taken um, from the Tim Holtz mini bouquet set two of the flowers. And we're just going to stamp these on. I'm going to probably, I'm going to try one with, um, I'm going to try one with the darkest brown that I have, um, which is, I think it's going to be walnut stain. Let me smear and try and check. Let me grab a scratch piece of paper here. So I'm just going to smear and see. Yeah, that's dark. That's pretty dark. This is the um, walnut stain. Okay, then I'm going to just try, because of the detail on here, I'm going to get out VersaFine, and I want to try one with VersaFine. So I have realigned, we're going to go brown on this bright color one, instead of black. Put my misty corner in here. I've already pre-aligned where I want these to hit on my cards, okay? So I'm going to try this one with Walnut Stain. And see how this sticks on that surface. Okay. Very fine detail on these ones, so it doesn't take a lot. And I'm gonna, oh, I can see how wet it is. Um, I'm gonna try, try this one more time. I can almost see some of it in spots beating a little bit. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try dry and see if, I, if that layers just a little bit better. It layers but it's kind of beady on the surface. I think this would also look good just uh, getting some texture in the background and then you could do some die cuts on here for like die cut um, greetings, which I have and I'll probably do that over the top of some of these. Um, now let me just touch this to see if it, it stays pretty wet it's a little it does smear a little bit so this works overall it works I think um, you'd have to be a little patient on the drying time in between um, to keep it from beating and different things so I'm gonna leave this one as is okay that is how this is what I got not horrible okay not not too bad okay let me wash um, these off, and now we're going to try VersaFine, and I'm going to get out one of these that, um, see if that shows up on this one. It's, a, it's got a tiny tack to it, probably not completely dry. It's not wet, 
it's almost like that end of glue drying kind of feel. Okay, all right, let's um, try my VersaFine. I picked VersaFine because of the, the fine lines of this stamp set. I have a feeling this is going to pop better. It might stick better. I could just tell by the way it was already... Mm, it's it's wet. I can see it's got that wet surface to it. I'm going to, without drying it, I'm going to give it one little pop and then leave. Leave it. I'm not going to leave the room. Okay, that's what I get. But you can see it's super wet and shiny still. Going to have to let that dry. I'm going to set this so I don't smear it and not let that not let that do anything. Um, okay, now, um, let's just try it with this one, actually. We're going to take one of these and um, see if this works. I'm going to stamp, and then I'm going to... Um, so let's just try. Let's just try something here. Let's, I'm going to try my Memento. Okay. I have Memento Tuxedo Black. Let's give it a little memento. And then I'm going to try ink blend this word on. I can already see that memento doesn't have, oh yeah, that's the right one. <clears throat> that same finish as that VersaFine. Yeah, I can tell it's, it goes on different. It definitely goes on different. It's not, it doesn't have a beady, it doesn't have that beady kind of feel to it. All right, I'm gonna take this out. I'm gonna dry this just far away though because I don't want, I don't want this mod to, to re-bubble on me here. Just give it a little bit. Now I'm gonna take the opening and we're gonna just try put in right there. And I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with, um, I'm just gonna go black. I'm, and I'm just gonna throw a memento on there, I think. Cause that seemed to work the best. But let's try stencil through this. Okay. I can see it's not sticking. It's there, but it won't go thick. It just it keeps smearing off and stays a little translucent. Um, but it's there. It it will. It's there. But I know if I touch that, it'll it'll smear it. So, okay, let me check my list. Here's my little list. <laughs> um, I did ink smushing. I did spray sp spray smushing. I added water to the spray smushing. I added uh, spray to the mod. I stenciled over, and then I did paste. Okay, those were what I wanted to try. Um, and then I left this one because that's the one I did with the um, with the colored mod. I just put some spray stain in there and did it. Okay, let's get these back out. And um, thumbs me up if you like these. Um, they work. I think they work. A little, a little practice on technique, a little practice on maybe the paper behind, what layers I want to put on these um, kind of end game. I'm going to be honest. I have um, one favorite. No, nope, take the back. I have two favorites. These two are my favorite. I like how these two turned out the best. Um, this is the one with just the colored mod. This is the one with um, I ink or um, ink smushed with the spray stain. Got too washy for me because that surface was too watery and runny, and it just all blended. Especially when I re-wetted, it kept re-blending. So I think that surface isn't the best. Um, this one was mod, but then I just used stencils over the top, and it did stick with with. And those like flowers, I can still see wet spray. Spray with paste, and then ink smushing with the ink, a little bit of water on the ink. 
And then that was with the VersaFine. Still kind of wet, I can see, on, on that one versus, versus the other one. So there you have it. There is my little test of my reverse of my last video. Um, that again, thank you everyone that's watched it. So let me just hold my two favorites up here um, because these are my two favorites. Uh, adjust, there we go. There's, these are my two favorites. Um, great little party gift, great little bag tag, great little like throw something in somebody's drawer at the, at the office or give to a loved one. Lunchbox note, I think some people call these, especially when you go down to two by two. Um, so perfect little tiny little notes. Um, again, trying the mixed media, working myself up to some more advanced stuff. I'll start adding maybe some paper texture, some elements, I guess you would call it. Thank you so much. I appreciate you all. If you are new here, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell and get notified next time I upload my next video. And if you're not new here, don't be shy. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Would love to have you follow my journey. And um, especially as I go down this rabbit hole 